Hello, welcome to today's training on filling out monthly project assessments on the new GEMS 2.0 platform. Before we start, please make sure that you have received the email here on screen. There's a couple things to note here when we keep the following in mind is that the as of date is for the prior month. Updating the project data fields and the project profile sections, right? All this information here we need to fill in. Updating the risk log. Attaching your project schedule. Ensuring your detailed comments are updated for each KPI, right? We need to make sure all of this is filled out and keeping it in mind when we are filling out these assessments. The first step in our process here is we're going to click on the gems.portal.georgia.gov link and we'll open up our browser. As you can see, we land on our sign in page here for the gems 2.0 portal. We're going to click on sign in in the top right hand corner. We're going to navigate underneath external sign in and click on Azure AD B2C. And we're going to use the credentials that we've used before to sign in, right? So your email and password. And we're going to click sign in. This will land us on our welcome page within the GEMS 2.0 platform. We're going to click on the active projects tab. As you can see here, it looks very similar to our Manage Investments tab, but instead of cases, it's projects. The same functionality for sorting exists. If you click on Name at the column header, it will sort by ascending or descending order. Same for every one of these column headers here. So at this point, we're going to find the project that needs the assessments to be filled out. In this case, it's our test case PR. I am the PM for this project. So I click on this project. And I scroll down and I see all of the information that is pertinent to this project. And for this case, we're thinking that March is going to be our assessment that we need to fill out. So we're going to click on the March assessment here. We land on the March assessment. And as you can see at the top of the form, there is a step-by-step -step guide on how to fill out the questions below here and outlining that process. We're going to be going through it today. So at the top here, we can see March 2024 assessment. We have exactly five business days because we are the PM in this case to fill out these questions. Now let's get into filling out the questions, right? So we're going to come down to whichever question that we want to fill out. Let's say in this case, a communication plan exists and is being followed. We're going to come over to the drop down tab here or in the action menu and click on edit. It opens up a, a new window. And as you can see, it gives you your project role, the assigned contact, and your start and end date, as well as the full question here. All you have to do is select the answer from the drop down menu. In this case, we'll say strongly agree and click submit. At this point, you'll see the answer populate within the actual subgrid here, and we can move on to our next question, right? So let's say we want to answer this one. We'll come over, same process here, click on the drop down. Click on edit, same thing applies, right? Click answer. Let's say we disagree with this one and we'll say submit. Now we wanna complete this for every single one of these, right? And once we've completed it on this tab, we're going to move on to the next tab, right? Click two, you can see same functionality applies. Let's say I wanna answer this question, click edit, come in here, same interface applies. Once all of these questions have been completed, we're going to come down to here and see that we have the ability to enter the date of the comments and adding a project schedule, right? We can click yes here and we can add it through the document section on the project, as well as filling out all the rest of the data that's down below here. Now I'd like to note at the very bottom of the form specific to uh, PMs is the ability to see everyone else's questions that are being answered. Now you don't have the ability to actually answer those questions yourself, right? You can't answer a question for another person, but you can view all of those questions by toggling through each one of these pages, right? And once we have completed all this and all of the um, data has been filled out and all our questions have been answered, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom here, click submit. 
Once you click submit, that saves the record and it brings you back to your project details, right? The page we were on before. And then you can see at the bottom, right? There's that same project documents tab that we had that was similar to our business case and procurement documents on the case side. All you have to do here is if you want to upload a document to a corresponding subfolder, right? As we talked about with our project schedule, you will then navigate to which subfolder you're looking for. As you can see, there's a second page here. We can go back. I click on my agency correspondence one if I want to upload one there. I click on add files. I choose the file that I want to add. Come down to here. We can pick our example business case that we used prior. We're going to click on add files. And as you can see down here, it now exists within that subfolder. If I click all and go back to our parent folder of it, I click on agency correspondence, it now exists. Okay. Now, if I want to complete this, right, and save this record here, all I will have to do is click submit. If we want to take a look at a previous case that's been filled out, right, we want to look at our February one. You can see that because we are now past this date of 2-7, I'm no longer able to click into one of these and answer the question, right? You will be locked out of these questions. As you can see, going all the way down here, I can see that I filled out some of these questions. Um, but ultimately, this will look. This is what it will look like once we have passed the PM end date. I do want to make a note that not everyone will have the same interface here. If you are under the assessment agency end date form, you'll see that there will only be your questions and not other people's questions underneath, as well as you may not have the same comments to answer as well. This also goes for our IV and V vendors and our vendors. You may have a different looking interface here. It will say IV and V or vendor questions up top, and you will only have the ability to answer those questions and not anyone else's, as well as you may have different comments and other data points to answer as well. Same rules apply though. Once you're done with everything, you would click submit at the bottom and we can navigate back by clicking the back button here. At this point, we have completed our uh, project assessments and our questions, and we are now able to move on to the next process.